Okay, this is for people around my area that may not remember what happened in Erling. This was what was left of the gas station explosion. Right there, that's my sister's house. See that big white house right there? That was my house. As you can see, my house, my sister's house, gas station. Okay? So, this, I'm just going to show screenshots of the local news station. This is the dude who reported it. This was what was left after the second explosion. This was what was left. This is what I'm talking about. This is the gas station. There's the one pump I said they had and the big room with the two great big doors. So while everyone's in there fixing a tire, the fumes or vapors from the gas lines were so much that it filled these two, this great big room and nobody smelled it. That makes sense to you, does it? And have no doubt, Shelby County, Iowa Sheriff Neil Gross got interviewed, just like I said he did. And so did I. The house that's behind me, that was my sister's house. Had, hold on, had this wall right there on the very end, had that collapsed, which was where the first explosion happened, instead of going on the other side of town, it would have hit us directly. Directly. There's my house. There's my sister's house. And KETV even has pictures of the second explosion, which is what I have shown repeatedly. This, this is a video of the second explosion. This is what they're showing. What, you think people were just filming this just because they were, what they wanted a video of the blue sky? Really? So with all this said, tell me why the official report says that there was only one explosion and that it was caused by vapors overwhelming the area that was set off by an air compressor blowing up. Because that is exactly what it says exactly what it says. So when I say that the facts don't match up with the official report, I'm not just pulling that shit out of my ass. You know what I'm saying? I can show what I'm saying. And so explain to me how this is possible and who could have done this? Because if you believe one story, you can't believe the other. And I've shown proof, the truth, in what I'm saying. It was a terrorist attack. Had that wall gone down, it would have decimated both my house and my sister's house. And at the time, I had just gotten naked and in the shower. Considering that my sister had just bought that house, hadn't moved in yet, but had just bought that house, I had lived there for years. This happened on April 27th, 2020. But Isaac Cappy had been murdered less than a year before. 
May 13th, 2019. Babe. They were trying to clean up all of the loose ends. And they failed. And now it's heaven's turn. 